What's up, Capstone family? This is Ed Drummond with Capstone Realty coming at you on Friday, the 28th of August. Uh, I hope you had an amazing week. Um, I wanted to start this off by saying that this week, I don't know if you felt it, but I definitely felt that there was a positivity coming from the economy as a whole. Uh, the messaging that I've heard from multiple sources uh, that, I'm uh, that I'm plugging into weekly was more of a positive vibe than we've had in the past, which is feeling pretty dang good right now, let me tell you. Um, in, in addition, uh, you know, this week here at, at Capstone was very positive. A lot of things happening behind the scenes from a process improvement standpoint, uh, definitely helping us and scaling this thing, making it easier for our clients, our tenants, and our team to keep things running and rocking. Um, so thanks, and, and for those of you that have offered your support in one way or another, we totally appreciate you and uh, just, it's amazing, so thank you. Um, wanted to reach out and just let you know a little bit about the market right now, and we've had some feedback about what the market's going to do here in Arizona, and there's the $10,000 question, right? Well, shoot, $10 million question. Uh, I think realistically, um, what we've seen in the past, and, and I was a part of this market in 2007 and after, I saw it from an investor's eyes in 05 and 06, right? So I didn't see it from a realtor's perspective back then. I didn't know any better. But what I did see that was different and what we're seeing right now and you know, the supply that we have of houses doesn't meet the demand that we have, organic demand for housing. How many people need to live in homes right now that can't find them? There's so many people um, the toughest spot to be in right now is being a buyer in Arizona uh, and oftentimes a tenant as well. Finding another place to live in this market is tough. We're seeing the other side of it. We're seeing the frustration. We're seeing where people are feeling like they're getting the run around. It's horrible. It's hard for people right now. So that's definitely a place that, you know, moving forward with this market, you know, there just isn't enough supply. Back then, there was more supply than we could handle. And what happened was we had all these builders building all these houses so quickly, and those that were picking them up were investors that were buying them on, you know, with, with, with notes, with mortgages that didn't necessarily support long-term strategy, right? It was very short-term mindset. The house will make 10,000 next week, so let's, then we can flip it or whatever it was. Completely different market. So now we're in this space where, you know, even this week, it sounds like interest rates are going to stay pretty consistent here. Um, it looks like, you know, from this time last year, this, this July, since 2005 and six, this July, we saw more appreciation than at any other time, right? Which is, is awesome from July to July. So that's strong right that's amazingly strong and we have a market that's sustaining that and, and pushing that forward um i think also you know with the types of loans that we have that people are getting right now uh this is this is sustainable i mean the, the mortgages that we're getting like when we're refinancing right now yeah we might be doing them on 15 years or, or 30 years but more than likely you know most people that we know that are that are refinancing property right now aren't putting them on on you know volatile um, you know arms or anything like that that are kind of speculative. This is this is very long term strategy that we're seeing right now, which is which is great and it's amazing. Um, so I think long term, like right now, the market looks looks healthier than we've seen in a while, and I think a lot of that comes from again we're, we're seeing businesses potentially opening this week here in Arizona for better for worse, right? Who knows what that's going to look like in a few months, but but right now, you know, the COVID numbers are going down and that's that's definitely a positive thing. Um, let's see if we can keep them down. Uh, we do have masks. So if any of you need masks, I got Las Tres Vejitas and made some amazing masks and sent them into us. So definitely come and check it out. If you need some, stop by the Capstone office and I'll give you one. Um, hey, and then uh, just wanted to talk again briefly. We did lock up the date for Capstone Contributes this year. It is Saturday, November the 14th. It'll be between... 8.30 and about 12.30 here at our office downtown. Um, our goal this year is to fill uh, 10,000 bags for uh, homeless kids. Again, what this is, is it's a program called HELP um, that basically 
puts together snack bags for homeless youth here in Arizona, right? And, you know, how, how sad is it that, you know, when, when these kids don't have school to go to where they're getting meals that are subsidized, they don't have any food right now, potentially at their houses. So it's like, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill 10,000 bags. It's a buck a bag, essentially. It's all tax-free, uh, tax deductible, uh, tax-free, tax deductible. So uh, if you go onto our website and you would like to donate, um, feel free to do so, we'd love it. Um, it is, uh, I'll put the link down below. Um, but again, it's a, an Arizona state tax write-off uh, for both single and, and married. So feel free to check it out. They've got all the details. Uh, if you do make a donation, it goes straight to help, uh, but it counts towards the bags that we're gonna be building in November. I'd love to see you out there as well. Uh, just like last year, everybody will get a, get a Capstone swag shirt with a Capstone Contributes and all of our vendors on the back. If you have a small business and you'd like to be considered as one of the vendors that we're going to be promoting, um, also please reach out to me directly. I uh, would love to talk to you more about it um, and let you know, you know what's required and, and what we're looking at to do in this year. Thanks so much. Totally appreciate you. Hey, uh, one thing you can do to help if you love this video or any is in the past, uh, please like down below and then please subscribe to our Capstone video page. We're going to start putting out some, some pretty consistent content that we think is going to be helpful to you um, as the owner or as the the buyer or as the tenant or whatever it might be to ensure that you're getting information that's real right that's happening while it's happening um, we just put out a capstone raw where I interviewed um, our buddy Pete painter Pete from Envision painting he's the owner here in town he I got to do a zoom call with him um, he answered three questions that I get a lot from our owners when we're turning houses or when they're buying a property and they want to paint. He answered three of the most important questions that I'm always answering for people that I love that he came up and basically gave us that information himself as the painter in charge, right? Man, the guy's got it going on. So please check that out. Subscribe below and like our page and I totally appreciate you. Thanks.